All right, so first of all, let's answer a question. And the question is, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is the only programming language for the web. When I say the only one is because there is only one option when you are on the web and you want to make a website and you want to make it interactive. And that is um, JavaScript. If you work on the backend, for example, the backend of something, there are many options for different languages. You can do your backend with something like Python. You can do it with Ruby. You can do it with Haskell. You can do it with uh, ASP, I don't know, with Java. But when it comes to the front end, you can only program on one language and that language is JavaScript. Okay, so that is something that is good about front end and it's something that is bad about front end. It's good because there is no framing a fragmentation. Everybody that does websites knows JavaScript, so we all talk the same language. But the problem is that sometimes people don't like JavaScript. JavaScript sometimes has some parts that are not so good, and we are uh, trapped in JavaScript because we cannot do anything about it. We cannot change it. We cannot update it. We cannot um, replace it with whatever we want. And that's somehow a problem, all right? Um, the good news is that because JavaScript is the only one on the web and the web is the thing that has evolved and is evolving super rapidly, um, that means that JavaScript evolves rapidly as well. And it becomes more, more powerful and it becomes more, more, more and more big. And that means that the developers that know JavaScript can do more and more stuff. So for example, on the 90s, JavaScript was made only to add some a little bit of effects to the websites, like a clicking effect. Like I click here and uh, I do this, for example, and when I press submit, this happens. That is an event. Or uh, clicking this X, for example, that is an event, all right? And JavaScript was made for this, to answer the small events. But again, as the web started evolving, we did more and more stuff and we created more and more stuff that JavaScript could do. And then JavaScript became very, very powerful. So the point of this section will be to show you how many things you can accomplish with JavaScript, why people hate it, I already said that, why people love it, I will show you that, and why I think it's a very good language to invest your time on. Um, as a little introduction of this section, I will say that if you learn JavaScript, you can make very sexy websites, very sexy web apps, very sexy mobile applications, very sexy native applications, very sexy video games. And if you feel a little bit ambitious, you can also do a desktop application, which is something fucking good. If you are using something like VS Code, or if you are using something uh, VS Code over here, if you're using something like VS Code, or you use something like Atom, then you are using a desktop application built on JavaScript. And that is cool as fuck. Okay, so we're going to see this and I'm going to give you some examples on the next lectures. But for now, that is the explanation of why JavaScript um, is on the front end, they just created it, they never replaced it. And now every computer in the world has it because every computer in the world has a browser. JavaScript comes inside of the browsers and every computer in the world has a browser. This means that JavaScript is installed on every computer in the world. All the computers understand it. And that is something awesome. Okay, so that's it for this video. We are going to see some examples of what you can do on the next one. And I will see you there. Bye bye.